Hello, hello, DM Geezer Jim, continuing to read through the 2024 Dungeon Master's Guide, Chapter 6, uh, Cosmology, a tour of the multiverse. We are down to Bytopia, neutral good, uh, playing neutral good with, with uh, lawful tendencies, as it were. Now let's read about it. Very short read, very short section, not a ton to say about it, uh, but let's get to it. Bytopia. The surfaces of Bytopia's two layers face each other like the covers of a closed book. Looking up from Dotheon, the top layer of the plane, a traveler can see Shurok, its other layer, about a mile overhead. Both layers are idealized worlds that reflect the plane's philosophy of personal achievement alongside social interdependence. Work hard and work for the betterment of others, basically. Uh, two layers of Bytopia, Dotheon. Uh, the description is farms nestled among well-tamed woods or hubs of pastoral activity and in individual industry. Uh, the next layer is Shurok. Small communities thrive around quarries and mills among rough country and harsh weather. Uh, you have the, the gatherer side on one side and the production side on the other side of the Twin Plains. They look down upon each other. Super short section, man. Uh, Bytopia Adventures. Bytopia is the heaven of productive work with the satisfaction of a job well done. The goodness flowing through the plain creates the feelings of goodwill and happiness in the creatures that are dwelling there. While Dothion rewards those who seek a quiet life, Shurok is a paradise of those who continually challenge and better themselves. <coughs> Excuse me. The two layers of Bytopia are often referred to as the twin paradises. And it's said that every action carried out on one layer has repercussions on the other. An equal and opposite reaction though a more metaphorical than physical one. An adventure in Bytopia might challenge the characters who recognize the impacts in their actions have on the world by witnessing the mirrored reactions to their deeds on the opposite layer. That's it. That is it. That's all the 2024 DM's Guide gives us on Bytopia. Uh, so, super short. Two minutes to read that, and we're done, right? Um, again, we're going to refer to 2nd Edition Planes of Conflict box set for more information on Bytopia. It is a neutral territory, which means it's a, uh, a, a neutral and free Libra beneficiary, good and free type of a lair. Um, you will find a lot of information within this box set. Uh, this one's going to contain Beastlands, Bytopia, Elysium, in the, in the good part, as it were, right? So let's, uh, uh, I don't want to go too far into it. Let's be honest, though, Bytopia can be a little bit of a challenge to try to do uh, long-term adventures. It's a it's a peaceful, quiet splendor. Um, it's a it's a it's a hardworking, industrious area. Maybe the the main thing about Bytopia that makes it unique is is its geography. Uh, the two layers sitting above each other, uh, looking down upon each other. Each layer is the other layer's sky, as it were. Um, there's a few large mountains that physically connect the two planes. Other than that, it's magic and flight to move between the two of them, and it's a mild difference between them. Let me get down to a little bit of artwork. This video is going to be super short because there's just not a ton for Bytopia, whether whether we like it or not. Um, it's not it it Bytopia tends to be a little bit more of a uh, destination plane, a go here, pick this up, and go somewhere else. There's not a ton of adventure, although Shurok actually has. When you get deeper into it, there is some some uh, I don't want to say bad guys. Uh, but well, the, 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 one of the, what's the gnomish God's name? He'll hit me when it doesn't even matter. We're not even doing the video anymore, but yeah, the evil gnomish God actually cruises around in Shurok. Um, yeah, like it or not, we got a cool little poster. You got to flip that bitch back and forth to be able to read it. But this is, this is a good visual of what Bytopia looks like. One side of it is, is kind of rolling hills and plains and forests and orchards. The other side is a lot more wild forests and 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 uh, jaggedy mountains the people on one plane focus on farming and building stuff the people on the other plane focus on uh pulling from the earth uh mining and quarrying and 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 uh timber work and the two uh layers ultimately trade with each other but yeah you have the two large several spires that connect the planes between each other but then that's just open area so there's bytopia for you not a lot to talk about um Again, my advice as a DM, it's it can be a challenge to make adventures that matter in Bytopia, but because it is a, a tradesman's paradise, because it's a crafter's paradise, you'll be doing you can use Bytopia quite a bit as a source of goods or as a destination to pick stuff up. You need the greatest dwarven craftsman. He's probably gonna be in Bytopia crafting on something, for example. Uh, but that's really kind of it. Um, 
a short video, boring video. Bytopia is kind of a boring plane. It's okay. Not every hell, not every plane is the abyss. Not every plane is the nine hells, and not every plane has to have some, uh, a, a you know, fifty layer dungeon. But you can get some work, uh, some use out of Bytopia Ultimate. Uh, thanks for hanging out. That's the end of that video. Quick and sweet. We'll be back for the next one, which is Carceri. Cool plane. Lot of lot to get our brain around, but probably not a whole lot in this book. Likes, follows, subscribes are appreciated. I appreciate your time, and hopefully we'll catch you for the next video. See you soon.